I'm Anton Savage. This is a BMW i4 lent to us by nifty business sponsors of the Anton Savage Show. And what I'm using it for is to pick up Pat Short and take him to the place where his career kind of blossomed originally, that being the area around Thomas Street and Vicker Street. But the reason we're going there is to look at Harry Clark windows, because one of the things that people might know about Pat Short is that he's an artist. What's your interest in art? I never well, did. I went to art college. Um, did you? In Limerick, yeah. Um, um, my wife went to art college. We, that's, we met there. She was a fashion designer and I did very little. A uh, bit of drawing, <laughs> photograph. But ever since I've been, I'm, all my mates went to art college. My, two of my brothers went to art college. So I kind of, I kept a healthy interest in it. Do you know what I mean? I want and do you do it? Like, do you pay? I do, I yeah. do. When I'm on film sets and stuff like that, I tend to always bring a pad with me and pencils because inevitably, especially when you're on location away, you've always got downtime. You have a few days off mm. or something like that. And it's, I, I just love getting out, doing a bit of drawing. You know? I think that's the poshest thing anybody's ever said to me when I'm on film sets. <laughs> yeah. I like to bring a sketch pad <laughs> in my trailer. Uh, and what do you paint? When you're oh, doing that, or I what do you sketch? Draw anything. <laughs> I like. But are you landscaping? landscaping. Yeah, 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 yeah. That kind of thing. Or just if I see anything interesting, I doodle and sketch and draw. And do you give it to people? Can no, you buy? No, do you? No, never. No, never, never. Why? I'm too insecure about it. I know my problem is I know too many brilliant artists and drawers and draftsmen and. God, that's interesting because I would have thought that doing what you do, you would have to have long since murdered whatever bit of you gets embarrassed. I, I wasn't. I didn't start out as a comedian. I started out as a musician, playing jazz and, and saxophone and stuff. I look at my daughter, Faye, who's an actress, and she's developed techniques from training as an actor. Kind of just immerses herself in it, which is fantastic. I love that. I love working with actors and that, that trained, that approach in that way. And they kind of shed all kind of, uh, I don't know, inhibitions and stuff like that. Mm. And, it, and, and it's about being the character and getting into it. It took me a good while to get into that, because I wasn't trained, so I kind of had to learn the, the tough way. But some of your like comedy that. has been like, there are comedians who, take a Jimmy Carr, he may have a, a stylized persona, yeah. but he's a joke writer. That's what he does, he writes jokes and he pitches jokes on stage to people. Your stuff is much is often more sketch-based, it's more performance-based, performance which based, is, yeah, theatrical, you know, yeah. that's a lot of, I'm going to, it is, invest myself in it. It, it is, but I, it's also a great way to hide behind a character. And it's not me. And, I, and that's what you're doing as a uh, performer. So go back then to the thing of the the art and you never displaying it. Or uh, Yes. Do you keep it? I do. I have, I have sketchbooks, yeah, yeah. Do you? I'd have sketchbooks. And I, would stuff in it. I don't do a whole heap of it. And, but every now and again, I'll take out a book. And, it's very relaxing. But I'm surprised, I would have thought if you are used to being a performer and if you originally were into art and you have mm. product, I just would have thought that's a natural equation to say, well, I'll offer it up, I'll let people see yeah, it. Yeah, no, I do it for myself. And I think yeah. that's what it is. It's not that I, I, I want to make money off it or do anything like that. And I think if I was to start doing that, it would become a chore. Did you try to steer Faye out of performance? No, no, not at all. I, I didn't have anything to do with her getting into it either. <laughs> No, funny enough, I, like I always say, if it's been good to me, I've had a great life in this business. Um, uh, it's been up and down, and there's been a lot of rejection too, and I don't always get every part that I'm, I'm sitting for or looking at. And with Faye, um, she turned around, like in Lehman Street, and said, look, I really want to go for this, and she had to audition all the schools, and she got, in, she got accepted in every one of them, and then she made a choice which one she wanted to go to, and she went to the Gaelic School of Acting, but, um, and that was, and I remember seeing her in a, she did a show with one of, I didn't really get to see many of her shows when she was, you know, a kid, being away and travelling. And I got to see the show when she was in kind of Lehman Search year, she did a show in, in the Lion Tree Theatre in Limerick. And I was absolutely blown away with her. I was talking, oh my God, she's got presence. She is really, really good. And when she said she wanted to go to drama school, I thought, yeah, makes perfect sense. What's the most office-like job you ever did? Anything. Really, you've never had never, a job? I've never had a job, yeah. Jesus. <laughs> the things what you learned in art college were going to Greek Orthodox Church in Thomas Street, is that correct? <coughs> well, we're going to, you know, it's a, it's a Catholic church. Uh, Even better. <laughs> I like those two. <laughs> it's a Catholic church. 
No, well, it's a why did I make it Greek Orthodox? I have no idea where you where you got that one, but it's interesting. I, I, you made me doubt for myself for a minute. It gives it a certain. <laughs> I think it gives it a certain. Je ne sais quoi. If it's Greek, let's well, pretend it's Greek Orthodox. It's a fascinating church. I'm not, I'm not, I haven't been in church in years, and I, I I used to gig in Vicar Street across the road from this church, and I must have passed it then when I was in the Tivoli there in um, what's called Francis Street and all that, and it's on Thomas Street. I went in there once on a on a, a, a TV show. And there's an amazing stained glass window there by Harry Clark, and I was familiar with his work. I have, I have some of his sketches actually at home, but he was stained glass windows was his thing. And of the five stained glass windows, I think at the back, three of them are his, two of them are by a guy, is he his name? But he he, he studied under, um, he studied under uh, Harry Clark. Another interesting one. There's these twelve statues that are in there, and they were done by I think it's John Pierce. Who was Patrick Pierce's father? Oh, yeah. So there's a lot of history in this place. And if it wasn't for the fact that I know that you had studied this, I would just ask, well, you know, why you liked it. But you can break it down technically as to why it's of no, great I don't, quality. No, not, not necessarily. Well, I mean, you just look at his work, and it is—it's very different to any other um, stained glass windows you'd see. And it is—I think it's just stunningly beautiful. Wait You're waiting for, for me, me to open the door? Is that how it works? <laughs> yeah. Please, Mr. Short. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gracefully, I just rolled out of the back. <laughs> So this is this is the, the the church here on the left, Anton, and, and this is effectively where you well, I was going to say grew up, but this yeah, is where you spent not, most of your career. It's not that I'd be very religious. I, I would have gigged up here. Yeah. So Vicar Street is there, and you've got uh, the Tivoli just around the corner. Would uh, you miss the Tivoli? I thought it was a great theatre. Was it? Oh, I loved it. Uh, the Unbelievers kind of started out. Well, we started in Andrew's Lane, but. Tivoli was a home for us for years before Vicar Street. So this is the church? This is it, yeah. It's, it's stunning. You see the window inside it. So which of the windows there? <laughs> That's the Harry Clark. Look at them at the back. They're incredible the size of them. They're they're stunning, you come they? at the right time of day, the light coming from the back. Yeah, I suppose it's a summer's evening when yeah. they light up at most of But it's funny, you can see, I mean, me being no expert in the area, you can see this. You'd know it was Harry Clark by looking. It's beautiful, isn't it? Stunning. Well, Have you any desire to get mass while we're here? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> well, Pat, as always. Hey, listen, it's a pleasure. A great pleasure. Thank you very much. I really, genuinely really appreciate it because you're one of the people where, and not blowing sunshine up your arse, but you're one of the people where you don't have to worry what form Pat will be in <laughs> so far. So I'm very grateful. Thank you very much. It's been very no, it was enjoyable. It a pleasure. It was a pleasure. For all your fleet management needs, visit niftybusiness.ie.